It was a tough time for a young man who'd always secretly doubted his own ability. Keith never really knew how good he was, and he never really knew how many friends that he had and how many people was behind him. He never really knew that. I wish he could have known it more. He was always afraid that, that he wouldn't please somebody else. He always looked at it that way. Keith was a bundle of self-doubt. Um, there was, he was outwardly incredibly charming and very, very funny, but inwardly was a scared boy. And Nashville can be very intimidating when you're from a little town called Sandy Hook, Kentucky. And I don't think he ever really, really got over that feeling of, of maybe I'm not good enough. Those close to Keith believe this self-doubt might have propelled him into his occasional damaging drinking binges. I think Keith turned to alcohol uh, because of his confidence. He, he lacked confidence in himself, and uh, possibly that would give him more confidence. I think he saw where all the great singers have been before him. And that's his George Jones, and Lefty Frizzell, Hank Williams. All these people were considered great, but they all were known for their drinking. And I think that part scared him. I think in a way, Keith didn't think he deserved success. It's almost like Keith was always trying to punish himself for something. Keith was also haunted by the loss of his older brother, Randy, who was killed on his motorbike near the family home in 1983. Keith didn't like to deal with problems, and that was such a tragedy because it was the first time in our family that anything had happened like that. And uh, I think that, uh, I don't believe he ever dealt with it. I think that Randy's death contributed to a lot of his problems. 